Hello, I'm Alien St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to show you how to set up AMT with TLS and mutually authenticated TLS. So we're going to use Mesh Commander, and I have my trusty AMT7 machine right here, but anything uh, 6 and above will work just fine. And the first thing you got to know is that if you click on the little three bars on the upper left here, you can go into the Certificate Manager, and here you can create certificates that AMT uh, that Mesh Commander will use to interact with AMT. So I'm going to create a root certificate called test root and I'm going to call, uh, I'm just going to say ABC for this information and say OK. And this will create my root certificate that I'm going to use for other things. Ta-da! Perfect. So then I'm going to go right back to uh, this machine and I'm going to connect and right now I don't have TLS on this machine so it's it's connecting in the clear but for demo purposes this is good I'm going to go to the security tab and here um, I have this uh, the certificate store for AMT it has no certificates so I'm going to say issue certificate from and then you, you can say where you want to issue from I'm going to issue from uh, the certificate manager of commander I am going to uh, the parent or root certificate is going to be test root and I am going to uh, issue a certificate let's say for example AMT machine let's see machine 7 and organization ABC and here you want it to be a TLS server certificate so that's the usage we're going to give it um, and usually the common name you would put the, f the same name as your DNS for that machine so I'm going to click OK here and it's going to create a certificate you can click on it and see the certificate it created and it created a certificate that's signed by the root the, by the, that uh, parent that we have in Mesh Commander then we're going to go inside here uh, the security settings and we are going to say that we want to use that certificate and we are going to do um, we're going to do server authentication and we're going to allow uh, non-TLS connections for both uh, local and remote and say OK. And so now what it's going to do is tell AMT to start using this certificate to do TLS and um, and that's it. Now notice that the connection still works because we allowed non-TLS but now what I'm going to do is add a new computer here AMT machine sorry machine 7 dash TLS for example and I'm going to put the same host name 192.168.2.106 my password and here authentication we're going to say digest with TLS okay so now now the nice thing is with commander I can connect with or without TLS so I'm going to go ahead and connect with TLS and you'll notice here that ah it's telling me well this machine has the certificate and um, and this is all good but another thing I can do I'm going to cancel here is when you go into certificate manager and you have a root you can view it and you can say this is a trusted certificate say okay so then then once it's trusted you should be able to connect with TLS oh yeah anyway and uh, and you just accept this there you go and you're connected uh, by the way even if you don't trust the certificate you um, you can just click OK and it will pin it and so that's what I did here it just pins the certificate okay so this is just basic TLS server authentication I just had AMT use the certificate in a few minutes and uh, and enable TLS super easy now I want to do mutually authenticated TLS so I need uh, I need AMT to also authenticate the certificate coming from Mesh Commander and I want Mesh Commander to use a certificate so let's uh, let's see how we do that so first of all I'm going to go back in the certificate manager and I'm going to click on this route and say issue certificate and I'm going to say uh, my um, my commander so I'm going to keep that in the clipboard ABC and I'm going to say that this is an AMT console certificate I'm going to say OK so now I cr I'm going to create not only do I have my root but I have a certificate that I can use to authenticate to other machines and uh, the other thing to note here is that I'm going to go in view and because it has the AMT console usage a c a commander offers me this thing called use for TLS console authentication so I'm going to just check that and say okay so now this certificate at the bottom is trusted this certificate on top is going to be used for TLS authentication to AMT okay 
So that's what I'm, I'm done on that side. Now I'm going to go back to the computer, connect using TLS, for example. Now, right now, I'm still connected using server-side authentication, so just AMT as a certificate. It's not currently validating the certificate of, of uh, Mesh Commander, but I'm going to go in Security, and I'm going to say Add Certificate, and from Commander, add a trusted cert called uh, Test Root. So I'm going to add from the Certificate Manager of Mesh Commander, I'm going to add the Test Root Certificate, and I'm going to make it trusted. Boom. So now, AMT has two certificates, has my root and the certificate it uses to authenticate to, um, to uh, Mesh Commander. And Mesh Commander has two certs, the root and the certificate that it will use to authenticate to AMT. So once I have this, the only thing I need to do now is turn on Mutual Authenticated TLS. I'm going to go ahead and do this here. Just for safety, I, I recommend you start with Mutual Authenticated TLS, but keep the non-TLS allowed um, just for, for your trials so that if anything goes wrong, you can go and fix it by connecting non-TLS, fixing it, and so on. But once you're ready to go, you would do TLS Mutual Auth and TLS only. But I'm just going to do without. And then here, when you do Mutual Authenticated authentication, you need to set the, a list of names, of common names, that you will trust. So in this case, I am going to use my commander, which is the name of the certificate of that Mesh Commander is going to use to authenticate. I'm going to use it on both sides here, say OK. So now, bam, now it's mutual authenticated TLS and non-TLS, and the trusted name is my commander. Now I'm going to disconnect and connect again. And believe it or not, here, this is mutually authenticated TLS. And by the way, to prove it, I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to go to the Certificate Manager, go to View, and remove Use for uh, TLS console authentication. I'm going to remove this. And then I'm going to go back to the Computer Manager and try to connect. And it is going to fail miserably. It's actually going to time out. That's it. So now I cannot connect. So even if I have the right password, it doesn't matter. My console doesn't, or Mesh Commander, cannot present to AMT a certificate that's valid. But go back to Certificate Manager, click View, say use this one. By the way, if you have multiple certificates you can, uh, that you can use for, um, I'm going to do that, my Commander 2, ABC, here you go. So if you have two certificates for authentication, console authentication, you can only pick one that you're, that's active right now. So if I go and I pick the, this one, okay, so now I'm going to authenticate using this guy. The, the certificate, this certificate is signed by the right root, but it has the wrong name. So when I'm going to go back to Computer Manager and Connect, it's going to fail. And it's going to fail because of the name check. So I'm going to go back here, go to view, switch it back to this one. You see the TLS authentication back to my commander. Go back and say connect. And now it's going to work. There you go. Mutual authenticated TLS using Mesh Commander. Um, in addition, by the way, you're not required to create the certificates here. You can also import certificates. So if you have certificates from other tools that uh, maybe to authenticate the, the console or you have certificates to uh, root certs or whatever, you can go ahead and import those certificates inside this store here and then go ahead, go back to computer management and use it. So that's a quick view of TLS and TLS with Mutual Auth. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.